there is a range of acceptable behavior. And I think too often we have the stereotype view of what is and is not acceptable. People with retardation need extra help to learn. And rather than blaming them, you can find strengths. Would someone just venture to say, putting on your assessment hat, what you see in this picture? What's going on here? There's a child in the playpen crying. There's a mess. Someone told me the mom didn't even care what she looked like. Look, she hasn't gotten dressed and her hair is still in rollers. When I look at this picture, I'm happy to say that she has a good deal of self-esteem about herself because she's taken the care to roll her hair. Um, it's not that she's uh, slovenly and doesn't care what she looks like. She has some self-esteem. The child in the playpen is protected. The children are all together and she's in the room. She's not upstairs in the bedroom by herself. She's with her family. And yes, she is on the phone, but we do not know that she's been there all day doing nothing. So I put this slide up just to say, you can look at any situation in many different ways. And I would encourage you not to jump to conclusions and immediately focus on those things that are wrong.